Hello lads, we have a couple of cartoon deformed uh, London buses today. This is uh, a result of a commenter, Clan of Nath, teaching me about these uh, super deformed vehicles. So let's take a look here. I've never seen this packaging, I've never bought this brand here. But they're listed as Jotus. Jotus.com. This one's from 2005, this one's from 2003. But it's odd as, uh, you know, this is the older bus but maybe these were released several times. So uh, I'm gonna guess is Jotus like a department store or some sort of retail outlet? I don't know. Uh, let's see, opening engine covers. I didn't expect that. All right, so that's kind of cool. It says AB bus here up here in the corner. It says, no, QB, qb-art.com. If you can't read that, that text is really small. So you might want to check out that website, qb-art.com. All right, let's start with this old guy. Oh boy. All right. So I actually, this packaging is great. You know, it's so small. It's literally the size of the bus. And yet, well, all right, so there's a little bit of a cushion. So, I don't know why a lot of brands insist on having such large, wasteful packaging. It's a little card. It's not a sticker. If this was a sticker, it'd be awesome. Because I would just put it on, like, a toolbox or something like that. Okay, so it's a pullback toy. And I guess this is the part number of it. We'll keep that. I'm curious what the other one will show. Alright, so this is going to go right in the trash. But at least I don't feel so guilty about it. Let's open the other one while we're at it. So I'm pretty sure this is a AEC, well it's, yeah, it's an AEC Route Master. So AEC means Associated Electric Company. And so this bus was uh, made between 1954 to 1968. It's a front engine, and let's try to get a look at this engine here. And it's rear wheel drive. Okay, so yeah, there you go. And then it would be powered by like a 10 or 11 liter D six cylinder diesel engine. Probably making around like 120 horsepower or something like that. So 120 horsepower to move all this around. Interesting. This bus, I have no idea what it is because I haven't opened this. So I don't know what the front and the rear ends look like, but we're going to find out. So this engine looks like it's in the back. I'll do that little diagram. Okay, so the card is smaller. <laughs> it's so funny looking. So what's the deal here? Is this limited edition? This one is only 3,000. And then it has a whole different part number. QB, oh, that's probably limited. But what? DMS, Route Master DMS. So I'm sure this has to do with the name of the, the bus itself. All right, so a quick search shows that DMS means this is a Daimler Fleet Line bus. The Daimler Daimler Leyland was the manufacturer, manufacturer. So I believe that's a German and uh, British uh, brands. There, Daimler is German, Leyland is British. Uh, anyways, it was produced between 1960 to 1975, and uh, it would have an 8.4 up to an 11.3 liter engine, making around 110 to 190 horsepower. And the thing is supposed to be, well, different dimensions, either 30 feet, 33 feet, or 36 feet. What I failed to mention is the London bus is either 26 or 30 feet, so different lengths available. Okay, so, well, that's nice that they included these because now we know uh, a little bit more about them. I would have never figured out what this is unless it actually says on the bottom, which it doesn't. All right, let's start with, let's go back to this old one here. It's all plastic. Uh, boy, what's up with this tire? That tire is really distracting, but luckily I think it's just some weird residue that can be wiped off. The wheels look nice, you know, they got this lug nut details, this one comes out, this one goes in, that's how those type of trucks work. London bus is nicely printed, looks like a step or something there, and then 15, sorry, let me focus on that, 
I don't know if it's more legible than that, though. Via Tower something, St. Paul's, Trafalgar Square, Oxford Street. So that's the route number, I guess. So that's nice. There's orange up here. Probably like a giant light of some sort. The windows have some silver paint. There's a big line going through the center of this thing. And this is white paint. It's not silver. More silver paint up here. I think these windows probably pop open, you know, for ventilation. It's nice to see this you know, grab, grab pole there. And then a license plate, so which is really nice. I have a suspicion this is tab. This tab is connected to the base. And this looks like it's a tab in the front, so there's like two plastic tabs holding this thing together, no screws. Huh, I don't know what's... Well, you know, this thing is like almost two decades old here, so... Silver and orange, looks good. Paddington's 15, Paddington, all right. Clear windows. This side on the bus, a little access hatch molded in. Some more weird stuff there. Maybe one that opens that fuel door. You know, sliding window there. You can see the steering wheel at a bus angle. So that's nice. And then the front. Oh, nice. I didn't expect this. Clear headlights. A wiper blade. The grill looks like a separate piece with black and silver in there. And then again, a license plate looks nice. The route, again, looks nice. All tampo printed. No decal work here. Silver paint again. Little vent detail there. So yeah, again, eh, you know, it's a gimmick. I, I don't really have a need to see this myself, but oh boy, I don't know if this if this is intentional. Is this like an intentional vent on the hood? Because it is nicely done there. This might actually be on purpose because it closes tighter there. So maybe, maybe the hood is really like that in the real bus, or it's just meant to get your pick in there easier to open it it looks like there's a little black way in there as well all right and the side window there for the driver so there's only one way to get on and off this bus i guess and that's through this rear door interesting you can see the rows of seats there on the top and how it's all curved it's really really cool looking i like this thing a lot there's the spring motor, it's all white, you can see, actually see the gear there. Alright, interesting. So, um, let me back out here and uh, let's see how the fast this thing can go. Oh yeah, I'm sure this thing could actually go pretty fast if you put it on your floor. It looks around the same size as a Choro Q motor. So I know by, from experience those things can move really fast. I'm not noticing there's a stairwell here in the back which is nice and it's actually open you know up top so that's actually quite realistic for a cartoon all right, all right well very happy with this this is so cool <laughs> it's so funny looking you know if, if, if I could buy something and it makes me laugh that's worth it to me you know this is not a life isn't really fun right now you know with COVID and you know economies going not doing so well. It's just, it's not. Anyways, this is a little, little bit of sunshine in my day collecting these little cartoon cars. Okay, so there's this Daimler here. Let me get back in here and there's some light. So, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of package rub here. I'm scraping that. I guess you could polish it out. Uh, it's quite interesting, this weird bump on there. I'm not sure what that would be for on the real bus, but it's there. So, very similar, we have a route here going from Piccadilly Circle to Whitehall Victoria to the Chelsea Chapham Jerk. I don't know what J U R C is. Okay. And then it's Route 39. We got some silver in black around the windows. I'm not sure what these raised bumps would be. Wiper blade molded in, painted black, a different wiper blade. Not and then the giant clear tail headlights, I mean, with silver behind them, so that's really nice. But these are just painted silver, a different license plate. I'm not sure if there should be black in here, but no problems. And then we have uh, two doors on this guy. We have the yellow one up front, and then we also have, you know, black paint around these windows. 
That's the London Underground symbol, from my understanding. Uh, probably the same casted wheels. Tires are, are better on this one. Axis hatch, some rivets there. The route, and why would the license plate be way up there? I wonder if that's realistic. I mean, who's going to read a license plate way up there? That's strange. But I'm going to guess they couldn't print it reliably on that tab there. So this is also interesting. Why the tail is at an angle like that? I'm going to guess that's realistic. Anyways, it's nice to see the two additional colors there. Please let the bus go first. Oh yeah, the engine cover. I almost forgot about that. Eh, that's weak. <laughs> so again, that's a gimmick. A totally unnecessary gimmick. But I get, you know, these are, I'm pretty sure these are aimed for children and not adults like me to be reviewing. So, anyways, I just think it could have been fine without it. Uh, some raw plastic maybe. Maybe this whole thing was painted silver beforehand and then painted red. The tab again for the bottom. Uh, it's interesting the recess of this window, but I guess they had to do it because if this is a hood, you know, it has to open, so interesting. Uh, the bottom of this guy, yeah, 2002, licensed by 126, I don't, I don't know what that would be about. This one actually says Routemaster on the bottom in the website, so that's good. This might be the first thing I've actually seen collecting these vehicles it actually has a website on it that's pretty smart marketing there oh this does say die more DMS I should have just looked at the bottom of this thing from before all right same spring motor I'm gonna guess can't really see that yeah you can see the motor peeking through that window there some seats details there of course I wonder if there's a stairwell where would I guess the stairwell would be in the front but I don't see the stairwell on this one. Well, okay, I mean, come on, it's a cartoon. Uh, this wee steering wheel, though, is much worse. It's very Hot Wheel style. It's just a raised, you know, cylinder. Where's that last one? It, you know, you can see it's a, clearly a separate piece. So, I do feel this classic one, although it is a more modern casting, 2005 versus 2002. So, they made improvements, which is interesting. Okay, well, let's, uh, <laughs> these are both cool. They're so cool. Platinum Neff, man. Thanks for, uh, recommending these. I'm going to get some more, I guess. Uh, let me pull out the spinning thing here, and we'll compare it to a couple other vehicles. Now, there is no way I would collect a 164 scale bus. I just, I don't have room to collect the larger vehicles, right? So... I will, though, compare it to a couple other 164 scales. So here's a Tomiko Limited Vintage Toyota Crown Comfort Taxi. Here's a green light uh, Ford Interceptor Explorer, I think. So, yeah, I mean, these buses in overall length are shorter than a true 64 scale car or, or truck, right? So that's why I like collecting the cartoons, besides the fact that they actually make me laugh. It's a matter of space. So, really cool. Alright, let's get these guys out and pull out some uh, cartoonish vehicles, service vehicles. So I have this uh, taxi by ChoroQ. It's a Nissan Crew. I have this other ChoroQ. It's just a generic police car. Probably modeled off to, off to something. Crown. Maybe it's a Crown Victoria? That'd be my most... The rear looks like a Crown Victoria. I don't know about the front, though. Then, uh, Cherokee has this, uh, truck. A three-axle truck. Which is very short. And then Tiny Q, which is an active brand these days. And they have these really nice, uh, steering wheels. And some of them have metal bases. At least the pros... And that's an Isuzu Elf, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm Well, actually, I read the bottom. They do say... No, it's an Isuzu N-Series from 2006. So... I feel like the trucks from Tiny Q are quite large. This is one. It's 
doesn't quite match in, I don't think, but, well, I guess in theory, none of these, this is, this would match, you know, if you try to put a cartoon display together, but I feel like this would, I don't think this truck is that big in real life. It's definitely not as big as, like, a Peterbilt. So let me give you a top view here, just for, just because. Oh boy, I don't know what cartoon characters. We'll have Spider-Man, he's red. And also Thor, I guess. So definitely cool. I know that there's other castings of buses from this, I think, Jotis brand. Or, you know, I'll just do a search for some uh, super deformed or Choro Q buses, even though these aren't Choro Q. Choro Q, I think, is like the inventor of these super deformed vehicles. So hopefully you'll stick around and I'll get another video out there one of these days about these cartoon buses. All right, thanks, lads. See ya.